Hey everybody, Cameron Schreiner here today, unfortunately hatless, from Georgia Tech, to bring you a video about the bumper switch. Today's next video will cover the basics on what a bumper switch is and how it functions. It's a digital sensor, which means it only returns two values, on or off, true or false, or in the physical sense, zero or one. Alright, so in your kit you have a couple of these guys. This is just your standard VEX bumper switch. And all it is is a depressible button that mounts parallel to the action that trips it. So what that means is that if you mount this horizontally, the action that trips it will be horizontal. And if you mount it vertically, the action that trips it will be vertical. It's a very simple sensor that has some basic uses in competition. Alright, so your bumper switch uses a standard PWM cable. It's a three-wire cable that has the white one on the bottom for your data, the red one in the center for your power, and the black one on top for your ground. Now, to help you plug it in, it has this little ridge, and that slides into the slot on your microcontroller. But if you can't get it in right, just remember that when in doubt, the black always faces out. And this cable can be plugged into ports 1 through 8 on your microcontroller in the digital section. Alright, to help us demonstrate some key uses of the bumper switch, we're bringing back our friend the elephant bot. Now, the bumper switch can be used, like the limit switch, to help the arm not overextend and hit important parts of the robot. But the downside to that is the bumper switch is very small. It doesn't have a very long throw, so that means your arm has to get very close to some of the key components. Another use for the bumper switch is to actually to mount it on the front, side, or back of the robot. Now, it's very helpful during autonomous to do this because it can help your robot position itself to a wall during autonomous mode. Now, walls never move, so you don't have to worry about judging how long your robot should drive. Just have your robot back up until the bumper switch hits the wall. That way, when it hits the wall, your robot can then turn and orient itself into a better scoring position every time. So as a recap, the bumper switch is a digital sensor that is plugged into ports 1 through 8, and one of its main uses is during autonomous mode to hit a wall and help orient your robot into a better scoring position. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Bumper Switch Programming.